hi people you welcome back again to my channel my name is navina if you're watching for the very first time thank you so much guys for watching and my beautiful and wonderful family thank you for always coming back to watch my video so in today's recipe i'm happy and i'm glad to share with you how i make this delicious tasty and easy creamy spaghetti carbonara so if you want to know how i make this sit back relax as i will be sharing with you the simple recipe shortly Alright friends, you're welcome back. So these are the simple ingredients which I'll be using to prepare my recipe for today. So here with me are my sausages, I'll need some fresh prawns, my spaghetti, my parsley herbs, I'll need some salt, some parmesan cheese and of course my mozzarella cheese. I start always to marinate my prawns so I just, I just add a little bit of salt to it and then go ahead and add in one quarter teaspoon of my normal regular chicken powder to it. Make sure that you're not adding too much and as well I'll be adding my minced pepper which is the combination of black, red and white. So you're using black pepper is good to go as white pepper is also good to go. So next is to add in a little bit of my normal regular paprika powder okay. I'm just going to just sprinkle it just like this and use my hand to just mix everything up to just to combine everything properly okay and then let it sit for about 10 minutes to marinate while I work with the other section of the recipe okay so the next is to grate my sausages so i'm using my normal regular boss grater to grate my sausages yes so you, i know most of you want to know why didn't i just use a knife to just cut the the sausage you understand but i just want to just change the style of cooking for this normal uh regular spaghetti carbonara okay so yeah so after grating everything just like this so next is to just use my knife to just cut the skin into smaller part because i still have some hidden sausages inside the skin so i'm just cutting it into smaller part that way it doesn't it doesn't show up okay when inside the spaghetti so next is to move to cutting my mozzarella into smaller chunks okay so i'm using this particular type of mozzarella so just use whatever product of mozzarella you have in your disposal so i'm dividing it into session before chopping it or cutting it into smaller part that way it's easier and faster for it to melt while inside the spaghetti okay so you can also go ahead and then use your grater to grate it if you really want it really really smooth and smaller so yes after chopping it i'm scooping it right into my bowl right there and then let us see why i work with the nest and now it's time for me to just chop or slice or cut my parsley herb okay so before cutting i usually wash everything in case there is any uh, bacteria or sand attached to the leaf you know yeah so yeah after chopping everything i'm still going ahead to just cook everything into my smaller bowl which i'm going to use to garnish my spaghetti later on guys so yes that is it guys so next is to just add in a little bit of my normal regular vegetable oil into a frying pan you can go ahead and use olive oil or whatever oil you're using for your cooking into the pan just like this then spread the oil out into the frying pan then let this heat up a little bit before adding your onions whatever you're using so i'm using two smaller garlic gloves for this yes so yes after adding the garlic gloves i'm going ahead again to just add my prance into it then use my spoon to just separate it okay to fit perfectly into the frying pan so after about two minutes or so i'm also going to just use my spoon again to just flip it over to the other side to cook properly and to make sure to cook properly make sure you're cooking this in not in a high heat but in a very low heat then cover with the lid to make it cook properly okay so yes after about five minutes the prawns are finally ready so you can see how beautiful and lovely they are looking so i use my spoon again to just scoop everything out and then keep the oil aside all right friends so next step is to cook my spaghetti okay so i'm using one pack of spaghetti for this recipe so make sure you're not cooking too much if you're cooking for yourself alone and to make sure the spaghetti fitting properly into my pot i'm just using my finger to break it into two Why i add one quarter teaspoon of my salt to it as well as my boiled water enough to cook my spaghetti okay then cover and cook for a few minutes or so so i cook mine for about two minutes before stirring it okay so this part is really really important because you don't want the spaghetti to stick together okay so make sure you don't skip this part always check to see if the spaghetti is sticking to the 
pot so yes after cooking for about eight minutes so i'm going to open again to see if the spaghetti is soft enough okay so if you like your spaghetti really really soft then cover again and continue cooking until it gets to the uh how you want it okay so yes mine is okay just like this so i'm saving the water the excess water out from the spaghetti just like that and then pour it back into the pot the same pot i use in and cooking it okay so yes now it's time for me to go ahead and add in my grated sausage and then add in a little bit of my seasoning powder into the pot as well so for this i'm going to add half teaspoon of my normal regular chicken seasoning powder you can use whatever seasoning powder you have and as well don't forget to always add in the oil you use in frying the prawns which is going to add it to the taste of the the food you are cooking okay as well as my mozzarella cheese yes so yes if you don't like too much of cheese make sure to reduce the mozzarella you're adding yeah my family they love cheese and they love really really creamy yeah so yes i'm going to steam this for the next five minutes for the mozzarella cheese to melt properly into the spaghetti all right friends so after about five minutes of steaming the spaghetti you can see the spaghetti is not really really creamy but if you are those that don't like cheese too much of cheese in your noodles or your spaghetti you can go ahead and have it just like this so my family they really love it when it's really really creamy so i went ahead again to just add in my normal regular uh cream holiday sauce okay just to make everything really heavy cream okay just to make it really really creamy so yes after adding the cream i'm just going to just stir everything again just to combine it and to make sure everything is properly cooked again i'm going to just steam this again for a few minutes before serving it so guys this recipe is very simple it's easy to make it took me nothing less than 20 minutes to make this okay it's perfect to make it's tasty it's delicious as well okay so this is my food everything is finally ready so i'm serving it on the plate then go ahead and then garnish it with my normal regular uh, parmesan cheese so you can also skip the uh, the cheese part i mean the parmesan cheese part if you don't really like too much of cheese in your spaghetti okay so next is to add in my uh prance as well as my my parsley help guys so if you like my video if you like my tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up like share my video to friends and family and i'll see you on my next one Take care and have a nice day. Bye.